Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer request is from Djan Vujdumjak. Thanks Cap, and you boat for that. Here's a quick one for you to recreate. Supposedly, the emergency jettison was depressed and after the weight on wheel sensor disengaged, the tank dropped. And the link. So, go. Woo. Splash. Okay, let's go back. Frame by frame, that little thing. Off the cat. As soon as he's off. What was that, cat four, I think it is? I mean, the, 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 even 2007 when this was, the footage is so blurred. We think that's just a centerline drop tank. I can't see anything else coming off there. And literally as soon as he's airborne, it falls off. We can't find any official text as to what happened here. So it's speculation. We've had three different ideas come forward. First is from Mikey Rocks 44 who's the most popular for what it's worth, which is probably not worth very much. Hey, former F-18 avionics tech here. What likely happened is the emergency button was pushed in. And he's saying that before, you know, this thing took off by a guy who was preparing the aircraft. This button is used to eject all stores on all weapon stations in case of an emergency. As a safety so you don't eject all stores while you're on deck, it requires a signal ver verifying that the aircraft is weight off wheels. So if the button is pushed and the aircraft is in the air, weight off wheels, it will jettison the stores. We would simulate this regularly by placing a wedge in the wheel that tricks it to make it think it's in the air. We used this wedge to make sure that if it were airborne, the system would work. This is called a release and control check and it's done regularly on all aircraft. It's likely the avionics technician who did it got a good arse chewing from this one. So that's theory one. Next is the one that RC supports from James Reaper. Oh, nice name. Uh, it actually looked like the pilot pickled the tank off when he left the bow. He may have had a cold cat. I'm guessing that's one that didn't launch him up to speed or something, which must could be a thing. Yeah. That's when the catapult is not accelerating the plane like it should, and the pilot dumped the tank as soon as he cleared the deck to lighten the aircraft so we could establish a positive rate of climb. There's over 2,000 pounds of fuel in that tank. I didn't see any fuel vapour when it came off. The tank is pressurised, and if it just failed and came off, a large quantity of vaporised fuel would have escaped and possibly go down the intakes, causing a nasty blowtorch effect. I can't say conclusively, but I have seen some pretty crazy S being in naval aviation. So James Reaper says that, that it was a pilot that did it on purpose because of reasons. A slow cat, another problem with the aircraft, maybe there's an engine problem, you know, we'll never know. Mikey says that it could have been a guy that pushed the Admiral's doorbell before the plane took off, and then only when the plane took off and the weight on wheels, weight off wheels sensor was triggered, it dropped. And then there's a third, and we're lucky, we have military aircraft maintainers in our stream pretty much every day. And we've got another theory that we could have had a stray voltage, and this has happened in planes before, where, you know, it's just unfortunate, but things do happen. And, and there could have been an electrical problem, and it just dropped. So it wouldn't have been anyone's fault per se, it would have just been a, a, a fatigue problem. And then I sent you another video. Look at that. This one you can see the fuel the thing is though the quality of the other one the picture is so bad i'm not convinced the fuel was or, was or wasn't there yeah yeah you can see yeah that's weird isn't it there's no uh information on this one either i'm just gonna read this one probably not a final checker issue happened to my squadron back in the day on development cads won't blow with weight on wheels so whenever the aircraft gets the weight off wheel signal it allows the emergency jettison command to signal it it could be a faulty wire or it could have been that the emergency jettison button was slightly depressed so you could be in there prepping his seat and stuff and accidentally just the checklist used to say ensure that the yellow brass ring in the jettison button was not visible because it's kind of a s word button designed that can get stuck during rnc check so yeah so that's the idea that you could accidentally push it in a little bit and it would and it would trigger as soon as that came off how interesting. Well, let's go and test it out. Um, do you think it's modelled in DCS, yes or no? No. Welcome back, valued viewers. We're in a pair of Legacy Hornets. That's RC. This is me. We're going to test the button theory, because that's the one that, obviously, we can't do a, a faulty wiring test, and obviously we could purposefully jettison the tank as soon as we, you know, went over the edge. That's not in question. But can a push of the, this button here, the Admiral's doorbell, as we like to call it, or emergency jettison, prior to takeoff? make the tank drop off once we are weight off wheels. Well, there's two competing sub-theories here. One is that it was pushed and then released, which could happen if you were testing the button. Or the second is that it was a sticky button. You know, these things all have wear and tear at the end of the day, and it got kind of stuck down a bit. Uh, and RC's going to simulate that. He's going to do that by pushing 
and holding the button as if it was got stuck in. Um, and we'll see if that will trigger it in DCS. Right, I'm uh, going to push my button once now. You do not need Master Arm on for this because this is an emergency. Pushed. I can tell you that my tank has not come off yet because my weight and wheel center is on. I'm ready to go. Have you pushed and hold your button now, RC? I'm holding it. Okay, and engines up and I'll tell you when to salute. Three, two, one, salute. Saluted. Oh, we're perfectly timed, look. I should do an external view, really, but I don't want to lose my concentration. Right, make sure you're still holding it. Make sure you're still holding it. Make sure you're still holding it. Mine did not drop. Yours did drop! Oh, science! Science, oh, RC! Yep, I yours dropped. Did. How about that? Right. How exciting was that? Very good. Uh, so, in our simulator, if you if it's a sticky button and it's pushed against puny engines, I can't go any further, cat. Uh, if, if it's stuck in a little bit and pushing the signal, then potentially in DCS that shows that it could have happened. Hmm. Anything you want to add to the value viewers, RC? Nope. Okay, bye.